Hi there Simbi, uh, today's story is called Tom Tom and it is by Rosemary Sullivan and Dee Huxley. I hope you enjoy it. Tom Tom lives at Lemonade Springs. Sometimes his mother calls him Tom and sometimes she calls him Tommy. But his two sisters and three brothers call him Tom Tom. His four brother cousins and six sister cousins, both his grandmothers and grandfathers, his other two mothers and four fathers, his three aunts and five uncles, his 22 cousins and all his other relatives call him Tom Tom too. Every day, Tom Tom, his brothers and sisters, his brother cousins and sister cousins and his other cousins swim in the lemonade springs. The water in the lemonade springs tastes just like water. Oh, they were climbing the tree, look at that. The children love to swing on an old rope tied to the branch of a paper bark tree. They swing way, way out and fall, splash, into the cool, clear water of the spring. When he is tired from swimming, Tom Tom walks back up to Granny Annie's house at the bottom camp. Granny Annie's house is made of tin. She cooks him crumb steak and eggs for lunch. Oh, yummy. Tom Tom's lucky. At the night time, he gets a lift up with Uncle Harry to Granny May's house at the top camp. Granny May's house is made of brick. She cooks him fried damper and makes him a pannikin of tea for his supper. We're all having a snuggle. Tom Tom sleeps at Granny May's house. He snuggles up with Granny May and Grandfather Joe. They shut the windows to keep the devil devils out. When he wakes up, Tom Tom gets ready for preschool. He washes in the big laundry tub and runs to get some clean clothes hanging on the fence. There. His teacher, Miss Jess, drives around in a little white bus. She picks him up at the Tomp camp and drives down to the bottom. Oh, that's cool. Look, a little white bus a bit like the kindy bus. Or maybe the school bus. Do you get a bus to school, guys? At preschool, Tom Tom likes to paint. He paints a picture of the red tail black cockatoo, Kutek. The black cockatoos watch him high up in the stringy bark tree. He plays with dough and makes it into damper, just like Granny Mays, and pretends to cook it in the frying pan. Tom Tom always plays in the Aboriginal cubby house, made out of sticks and paper bark. He makes a pretend fire from wood and orange paper and imagines he is living in the old days. <laughs> when preschool is finished, Tom Tom asks Miss Jess to drop him at Granny Annie's camp. Oh, here's the teacher that's going to drive the bus. Tom Tom loves to visit Granny Annie. He pats her best guy in a dog Vegemite and feeds him an old piece of damper. <laughs> After a while, Tom Tom and all the kids head for Lemonade Springs. They walk along the wallaby tracks that lead down to the riverbank. Off oh, they all go. Through the long grass, over the big rocks, across the gully, down the sandbank, and into the water. The day is hot, but the water is cold. Oh, that looks lovely. Oh, look at Tom Tom. Tom Tom dives down deep past the stripies, swimming among the pandanus roots, reaching out to where the water bubbles out of the earth. One day, when he's bigger, he will touch the bottom. Look, here's some big kids here doing it. But now he swims back to the top and splashes in the sunlight with the other kids. And that's the end. I hope you enjoyed Tom Tom. It's a lovely story. Bye.